the attached to surface or sorry the attached to cylinder 3d eye expression makes something very convenient namely it changes the meaning of the position values of a 3d layer so i make this layer here 3d and now i have here the position and it changes the meaning such that it doesn't mean this doesn't mean move left right and this here up down and this here back and forth but it means on some kind of cylinder first surface this here is the radius of the cylinder this here moves up and down on the cylinder and this here moves along the surface of the cylinder so this is maybe a bit hard to to understand but let's say we want the center of the cylinder to be um, at this position here make some even numbers 500 uh, 360 and 0 for example yeah, at this position so we enter it here 500 360 and 0 and now we apply it to this position apply now it jumped away and if we set this here to 0 0 0 yeah so the keyframe value is 0 0 0 it is exactly at the center of this cylinder and now we can move away from the cylinder with the z coordinate and with the y coordinate we can move up and down but with the x coordinate you can see it travels along the uh, surface of the cylinder which is quite handy so currently it is not oriented along the cylinder surface this can be done with some other eye expression that means the look at eye expression but with this look at eye expression i rather prefer if i do something like this to do it with a null object so because i keep i'd like to keep the attached to cylinder at uh, the center point of it at zero yeah. apply which means it moved now here to uh, to rotate around this zero zero point and then i rather take a new null object which i call uh, cylinder center and then parenting with these things looks works just as it works with this one here uh, with with normal layers yeah so we can parent the our picture here to this cylinder surface uh, to the cylinder parent and now if we animate it here it nicely rotates around our uh, so also here up and down yeah so this is the height of zero zero is now exactly here the position of the null yeah and also if you enter here zero it's exactly here centered yeah we are now at a radius of 300 uh, something and now we rotate here nicely around a point and for our layer this point is now zero 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 and this makes it very easy to apply also a look at expression to make the layer orient on this cylinder so we go to the library and choose from the layer placement the layer orientation look at line 3d so we do not want to look actually at the point because i can show you what happens then so we first apply look at point 3D, which is actually not a good idea, with 0, 0, 0, which is here this center point applied. Yeah? So if we apply this to the layer, do not select here the position, but just the layer, because it will actually be applied to the orientation. You can see that when you rotate here around, everything works quite nice, but the problem is if I go down or up, it also rotates. Yeah? And this is something it should not do on a cylinder. This is something it should just do on a sphere. So therefore, instead, we go to the library um, layer placement, layer orientation, and choose not look at point 3D, but look at line 3D. And the nice thing is if your center point of your sphere, uh, sorry, of your cylinder is zero, yeah, if you have zero, zero, zero as center point because you used some uh, parent to move the cylinder where we wanted to have, then the default settings here are already the correct ones. So just select your layer, and hit apply. And now you can nicely uh, change here the radius of your uh, cylinder, move here up and down, and note that it really just moves up and down, it doesn't uh, orient differently, yeah? and here you can rotate around the cylinder surface. And this you can do now with several pictures, with several images, yeah? so uh, very convenient to just change their me the meaning of the coordinates to move in that way here. And of course this is keyframe, I can say yeah, I start at this point, and now I make here some uh, some rotation like this, and then let's say uh, uh, or let's say from this point on, now the radius of my cylinder should grow, and now I move uh, back again, yeah, for example, 
very simple movement and all of this very easily be done. Um, so you can, for example, think of pla placing some nice uh, semi-transparent futuristic computer screens around some person and they are rotating around it or whatever. Yeah, combining it, for example, with a um, distribute um, 3D uh, cylinder eye expression or so. Yeah, whenever you have single layers that should be animated along spheres, this is similar to parenting to the sphere surface. Yeah, and here the third component is then really the um, the radius of the sphere, so how far they are apart from the center, and the others here uh, control the movement left to right and the movement up and down. Okay, L one warning if you work with this eye expression, sometimes uh, you forget to set here a radius. If you set this to zero, it moves to the, to the very center, and then of course these other, or this still works, but here this has no effect anymore. Moving left and right does not change anything as long as you're in the center. Yeah? So you need to be a little bit off the center at least, and then you can nicely rotate around the center. So don't forget to choose here some uh, reasonable uh, radius for your cylinder.